Did you know that according to a study by Bankrate, nearly 20% of Americans don't save any of their annual income at all? Now that's a shocking statistic. It's like walking in the rain without an umbrella and we all know how that ends. Cold, wet, and wishing you'd planned better. But don't worry, we're not here to leave you out in the rain. We're here to introduce you to the lifesaver of personal finance, the 10% rule. Think of it as the umbrella you need in the financial storm. It's the simple yet powerful concept of saving or investing 10% of your income no matter what. Whether you're a billionaire or just scraping by, the 10% rule ensures you're building a financial safety net. So are you ready to explore the 10% rule and how it can turn around your financial situation? Buckle up, because this financial journey is about to get exciting. So, what exactly is this 10% rule we're raving about? Well, it's simpler than you might think. The 10% rule, as its name implies, is a personal finance principle that suggests allocating 10% of your income towards specific financial goals or expenses. This could be anything from saving for a rainy day, investing in your retirement, or paying off that pesky student loan. The beauty of the 10% rule lies in its simplicity. It's a strategy that's easy to understand, easy to implement, and can make a significant impact on your financial health over time. It's like a fitness routine for your wallet. Simple exercises that when done consistently can result in a healthier, more robust financial physique. Now you might be wondering where this rule originated from. While its exact origins are somewhat murky, it's been around for a while and has become a popular strategy for managing money. It's like the Beatles of personal finance, timeless, universally appealing, and with a track record of success. But what makes the 10% rule really shine is its flexibility. Unlike a diet plan that bans all your favorite foods, the 10% rule is more of a guideline than a strict rule. It can be adjusted to suit your unique financial situation and goals. If 10% feels too steep, you could start with a smaller percentage and gradually work your way up. Or if you're feeling ambitious, you could aim higher and allocate 15 or 20% of your income towards your financial objectives. So in essence, the 10% rule is like a personal finance Swiss army knife a versatile tool that can help you carve out a path towards financial freedom. It's not about depriving yourself or living on a shoestring budget. Rather, it's about making conscious, deliberate decisions about how you allocate your income and cultivating a habit of saving and investing. So in essence, it's a relatively painless way to start saving and investing. But how do you actually apply it? Let's dive in. If finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more financial tips and tricks. Now that we know what the 10% rule is, let's talk about how to use it. Picture this. You've just received your paycheck. Before you start thinking about how to spend it, you allocate 10% of it right off the top. This 10% could go into a savings account for emergencies, a retirement fund, or even an investment portfolio. The beauty of the 10% rule is its flexibility. It's like a financial chameleon, adapting to whatever your financial goals might be. Do you have debt that's been hanging over your head? Allocate that 10% towards paying it off. Want to contribute to a charity that's close to your heart? That 10% could make a world of difference. Let's walk through a few scenarios. Imagine you're fresh out of college starting your first job, you're making $30,000 a year. Following the 10% rule, you'd be setting aside $3,000 a year. That's $250 a month. This could go towards paying off your student loans or starting a retirement fund. Or maybe you're a bit further along in your career making $75,000 a year. That's $7,500 you could be saving or investing each year. The key here is consistency. It's not about making massive contributions every once in a while. It's about making that 10% contribution regularly each time you get paid. Over time, this can add up to a significant nest egg. But what if you're living paycheck to paycheck and 10% seems like a lot? Well, the rule is flexible. You could start with a smaller percentage and gradually work your way up to 10% as your financial situation improves. The 10% rule isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. It's a guideline that you can tailor to fit your unique financial circumstances and aspirations. It's about taking control of your money rather than letting your money control you. Remember, it's not about having a six-figure salary. It's about using what you have wisely. But wait, life isn't a smooth road and neither is your financial journey. So, what hurdles might you encounter? Now let's get real for a moment. The 10% rule sounds great in theory but we all know that life has a knack for throwing curveballs our way. Unexpected expenses, fluctuating income, high living costs, these are all realities that could make sticking to the 10% rule a bit challenging. 
So what do you do when the going gets tough? Well, you get tougher of course and by that I mean getting creative and strategic with how you manage your finances. Firstly let's talk about fluctuating income. If your income ebbs and flows like the ocean tide it's essential to have a plan. Try to base your 10% savings on your lowest projected earnings. That way, when you have a good month, you can save even more giving you a buffer for those leaner months. High living costs can also be a hurdle. If you're living in a city where the cost of living is high, 10% might seem like a mountain too high to climb. So what's the solution? Well, it might be time to scrutinize your budget. Look for areas where you can cut back. Maybe it's that daily latte or perhaps it's time to ditch the cable subscription. Every little bit helps. And let's not forget about those unexpected expenses. The car breaks down, the roof leaks, or your pet needs an emergency visit to the vet. These are all situations that can throw a wrench in your financial plans. But here's the thing. By following the 10% rule, you're actually building a buffer for these very scenarios. Remember the 10% rule is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's a guideline, something to strive for, and it's okay to adjust it based on your unique circumstances. So, don't be too hard on yourself if you can't always hit that 10% mark. What's important is that you're making a conscious effort to save and plan for your financial future. So, yes, there might be bumps along the way, but with the right mindset and tools, you can overcome them. Still skeptical about the 10% rule? Let's hear some real-life success stories. Picture this, Jane, a single mom of two, was living paycheck to paycheck. She felt like she was on a financial treadmill, running but not going anywhere. Then she stumbled upon the 10% rule and it was her eureka moment. She started putting away 10% of her income. Fast forward a few years and Jane had a safety net, an emergency fund that gave her peace of mind. Then, meet John, a fresh college graduate with a mountain of student loans. The 10% rule came to his rescue. He began dedicating 10% of his income towards his student debt. It wasn't easy, but it was manageable. Today, John is debt-free and even has a tidy sum tucked away for a rainy day. And let's not forget about Sarah, a hardworking teacher who dreamed of retiring early. She adopted the 10% rule, diligently putting away a fraction of her income towards her retirement fund. Today, Sarah is enjoying her golden years on a beach somewhere with enough funds to live comfortably. These stories aren't unique. They're echoed in countless households where the 10% rule has transformed lives and empowered individuals. It's a testament to the power of disciplined saving and smart financial planning. See, it's not that hard. If they can do it, so can you. So, now that you're equipped with all this knowledge about the 10% rule, what's next? Let's summarize. The 10% rule is a powerful flexible tool for financial management. It's as simple as setting aside 10% of your income for specific financial goals, be it an emergency fund, retirement savings, or even charitable giving. Think of it as a financial life raft, keeping you afloat amidst the turbulent seas of unexpected expenses and financial uncertainties. It's not about how much you earn but how much you save. And by saving just 10%, you're already setting a solid foundation for financial stability and growth. But remember the 10% rule is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's a guideline that you can tailor to fit your unique financial situation and goals. It's like a financial suit if you will. It's designed to fit you perfectly, but you might need to adjust the seams now and then to accommodate life's ups and downs. And while the 10% rule can be a game changer, it's not without its challenges. Fluctuating income, high expenses, and competing financial priorities can all pose hurdles. But with a little creativity, discipline, and perseverance, you can navigate these obstacles and stay the course. So how about giving the 10% rule a shot? Assess your financial situation, set your financial goals, and start putting the 10% rule into action. Remember, the first step towards financial freedom is often the hardest, but with the 10% rule, you're already on the right track. Now that we've taken you through this financial journey, we hope you found this information valuable. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about financial management, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And for more insightful content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and join our community. Let's continue this journey towards financial freedom together.